Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Oh. Uh, uh, hey there. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Marcus Turner. I work for your father, Bryce. Well, Alex must have hated that, coming to Bryce for a handout. It was an investment. Got her out of the picture. But now Bryce is part owner. I'll need a tour, access to the books, do a quick audit. Get a feel for how the place is going. Oh, my God, the mine accident. I'm Taylor Getty. You killed my dad. So you're a driver's girl now, huh? Stevie sends you to check up on me. Is anyone there? <clears throat> Can I go get a bit of privacy, please? Hi. Hi. Um, I know I said I was going to be tired, but um, I'm just having a quick drink to celebrate Matt's new job. Oh, yeah. Yeah, congratulations on that one. No one's more happy about that than me. Thought he was going to be freeloading around our place forever. <laughs> Word of warning, mate. You upset my friends and you got me to deal with. Oh, I'm sure your friend can look after herself. Hey, I'm not joking. I what? Mate, pull your head in. You don't know what you're talking about. this Ooh. broken manacle i'd lash out on a new set if i was you i was after something a little more helpful like how old it is what you lose a receipt or something we dug it up at the dam maybe it belonged to a prisoner or something what was a prisoner doing on drovers i don't know but i got one now riley <laughs> there's no escape you're all mine if this is the only way you can get a girl i'd be rethinking my Jody, hey, come on. Nothing happened. Jody, what's wrong? Getting a tetanus shot. Oh, it's just a scratch. Jodie, rusty metal stuck in the ground for who knows how long you go and see a doctor. And you can pick up Regan on the way. I was going to do that. Well, now you're not. You can do my chores and the kitchen sink is blocked. I have to, um, I have to take those sheep back out. What? Why? So I fell through. Buyer changed his mind. Oh, great. We should try that line out on the bank sometime. Sorry, not making the overdraft payment this week. We've changed our mind. Well, let's just find another buy by Friday. Yeah, I'll practice grovelling. I could always have a word to Alex and see if he's interested. We're over stock, mate. Sorry. Your decision. You should take a look at him, though. I'm talking top quality stock. Who are you trying to impress, huh? Me or Jody? I just don't need their sheep, mate. Well, uh, there's your copy. Truck will be out tomorrow. Andy, haven't you at Selkirk's? How's it going? Well, a bit hard to tell with Jim. Doesn't waste his words. <laughs> see ya. Hooroo. Look out, here comes Boy Wonder. Marcos, you need to get your hands dirty? I've done a bit of jackarooing in my time. <laughs> Whatever you got, I'm up for it. OK, you can help me bring the cattle in from the far boundary paddock. Sounds like fun. They've got to be back for sale tomorrow. Now, you get out there. There'll be no excuses and no quitting. You got that? I won't be the one quitting, mate. <laughs> they should send him running back to the city.
catch it! Sorry. Take the boy out of the city. Yeah, I thought he was supposed to be back there. Well, it didn't quite work out that way. Turbo, come around. Are these the uh, mob boiling was talking about? Yeah. Not bad. I was in the market, Steve. Yeah, nice one, mate. Always good to impress the neighbours. I thought this was Kalani land. See this track here? It's called a stock route. It's how we country folk move animals around. Sorry. Boys and their toys. Yeah. Well, we'll give you a hand, eh? Oh, no. We'll be right. Yeah, what do you say, boss? We've got time, haven't we? Not if you keep stuffing around. We're trying to make a sale, remember? Slave driver. What can I say? Well, sorry again. It doesn't matter. I can manage. Oh, Stephen, that's not what hey, I meant. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I reckon the cattle will be over that hill there. What's it going to be, city boy? Chickens or roosters? I'm talking the long way or the short way. I know what it means, mate. You all there? Marcus! Had you worried. Oh. <laughs> you still in one piece, mate? Uh, won't even have a scab to show for it. Oh, well, you're bloody lucky. <sighs> nah, probably won't even bruise. Well, uh, just take it gently, chook boy. Eat my dust. I could hear you squawking halfway up the driveway. Well, it's not like the work's hard. Singing keeps me sane. Oh, I got here just in time then. Download you some more music. Now you can drive the horses crazy with a brand new party mix. Thanks. Jody's back. I still haven't done the S Ben. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Where's Regan? Ah, uh, she wasn't on the bus. I rang her and she said her mother's still not well, so she's staying on. What's the matter with her? I don't know. But, you know, if it was serious, she would have told me. If you are, give her a call. One less person to tell me what to do. S-Bend. I'll pay you to clean the S-Bend. <laughs> How much money have you got? Oh. <laughs> what the hell's happened? Ooh. That S-Bend's really gone feral. your intruder. Oh, oh, poor thing. It must have freaked getting trapped like that. Well, you go and open the door and I'll shoot it out. No, I think it's her. Don't go near it. It'll scratch it to pieces. Well, then, can you get me a box and a towel to wrap it in? You are not looking after that thing. Well, I can't leave it. That'd be cruel. He's got you, hasn't he? Oh. Those cute eyes. Just like mine. Box? So, any ideas on who to call first to buy our sheep? You tell me. How is that? Aches a bit. Riley must have held it tighter than I thought. Yeah, I reckon I can join the dots there. <laughs> is that Jim Selkirk? What's he doing here? 